Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to todayifeellike.com. Today we're going to take a look at the Zhuxing XS9 100 channel wireless microphone system. This is one that has two transmitters and one receiver, so you're going to be able to mic up two people at the same time. So let's go ahead, unbox this bad boy, hook it up, take a listen, see what it sounds like, and here we go. All right, so here we have it. This is the Zhuxing 100 channel wireless lavalier microphone system. We can see here that this is a UHF wireless lavalier microphone system, and this is the XS9 model here. It says this is a lavalier microphone system intended for portable wireless operations such as DSLR video and field recording applications. This package includes a receiver and two transmitters. So we can see right here that we are going to have the two transmitters and the one receiver. Again, we over here we can see that it's uh, that it's going to be designed to use with DSLRs. Uh, with camcorders, with uh, digital video cameras, with smartphones, and with PCs. So that's really nice to see. We can see on this side that, uh, again, it's going to have the UHF frequency. It's going to have 100 channels. Uh, it's going to have a low cut filter, 10 hours of working time, uh, 328 feet of working distance, and real time audio monitoring. So there's that. We can see on the back here, it's going to show us um, what the transmitter looks like and what the uh, what the receiver looks like. You have other options available to you as different systems that you can get set up, like the X7, which is designed for smartphones. You can have the XS911, which is going to be one transmitter, one receiver, and then the W uh, the WMT uh, TN uh, WM10 which um, is a UHF wireless microphone system as well. I think it's just a little bit different of a system there. So yeah, all right, let's, uh, let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and unbox this bad boy and see what, it's, uh, see what comes inside of it here. So let's get this part opened up and let's, uh, let's get this out. Oh, right away, I like this. Already we have a case. I'm really, really liking this. I love when they give us cases to put our stuff into because it just makes life that much easier when you have to store everything and move it or take it somewhere. So this is really, really nice. All right, first things up, we have a user's manual, a little bit of foam here. We can see that this is uh, everything that's gonna come inside with it here. So we're going to get, um, actually let's just take everything out. So we're gonna have a, uh, a transmitter, a transmitter, a receiver, uh, looks like a, a clip for a cold shoe clip, and then a whole bunch of other stuff in here that I'm not sure. So we'll go ahead and, uh, and we'll just make sure we can uh, get everything out. And let's see, so it looks like we're gonna get a, a little dead cat in there. So this is going to be a fuzzy dead cat that you can put over your microphone so uh, so that you can actually hear him. You're actually gonna get two. These are to block down noise, by, or wind noise, by the way. So if you're, uh, if you're out in a windy situation. So um, we have the two antennas that are gonna go on to our uh, receiver. And then we're going to have a, um, a smartphone audio adapter because we need a three, a three ring plug to go in there. So there's that. And then we have a lavalier mic for one of the uh, transmitters, a lavalier mic for the other transmitter. And we also have some cables in here. We have, um, we have the regular 3.5 millimeter audio cable. And then we have the 3.5 millimeter to, uh, to XLR audio cable. So we're gonna get um, options for, um, for both. So if you're plugging into an XLR camera or if you're plugging into an XLR audio recorder, you can go ahead and use the XLR cable. But if you're going into a regular mirrorless camera or DSLR like I am, we're gonna go ahead and use the regular 3.5 to 3.5 cable. So now one thing that's nice on here is these actually have the twist lock on both the, um, on both the transmitter and the receivers. So you don't have to worry about these getting yanked out. You can just go ahead and twist them and lock them in and they'll be good. So, all right, we need batteries. So let's go ahead and hook some batteries up in these and then uh, and get everything set up and then we'll test it indoors and uh, take, take it outdoors if it's still light outside and uh, try it out. All right, I did want to show you how you quickly put the batteries in there. Also, I want to show you the low cut filters on the side here. So to put the batteries in, we just simply grab this little thing right here, pinch it and it comes right out and you can slide the batteries right in there. When you're done, simply slide it in push it in and it locks into place. It's the same thing on the uh, on the receiver as it is on the transmitter. So you can do that there. 
Now, on here you can see there is a mix and uh, an ST. I'm not sure exactly what the, what the mix and ST is. I'm gonna have to look into that and find out what that is. Uh, but on this side here, you notice there it says low cut off and on. You can go ahead and put that off and on so you can activate your low cut filter on here. So yeah, all right, let's go ahead. I put batteries inside both of these. I'm gonna go ahead and turn both of them on. And there we go, we can see that they already default to uh, to channel 30 and they both have uh, juice in them. This one, my battery's a little low, so hopefully they uh, hang in there. But uh, let's go ahead and hook the microphones up, test them out now and uh, see how they sound. All right, so I have the microphone system hooked up here and it's running into my Sony a7R uh, 3 and I just have the one mic mic hooked up because I only have me. So, but if I have a second person that I need to interview or someone that's going to be a guest on the channel or something, I can mic them up with the extra uh, transmitter here. So, yeah. Anyways, um, this is what you can expect indoors uh, compared to what you were hearing before, which is what the way I normally shoot with like my boom mic and you know having it hooked up into my camera here. So this is the microphone just plugged in and it's uh, connected right here, it's clipped to my shirt. So anyways, this is what you can expect uh, indoors here. Let's actually go outside for a moment and test it outdoors, because not only do I wanna hear what it sounds like outside, but I wanna just walk a little bit and check it, check it and see if I'm gonna get any uh, signal drop out when I walk across the street. So let's head outside, try it out, and let's go outside. Okay, so here I am, I am outside now. I have the microphone hooked up. I have this uh, clipped on right to my shirt here. I'm gonna back up across the street. I'm actually gonna turn around and walk so I break a uh, line of sight between the receiver and the transmitter to see if I get any signal drop out. So let's go ahead and walk over here. And now there is there should be a, a broken line of sight since my body's blocking the transmitter and the receiver. So maybe we're getting some signal drop out, I don't know. But we'll see what we're getting here. I'm across the street here and you know i'm curious to know what this sounds like so this is probably i don't know 30 feet or so but yeah this is the xs9 wireless microphone system again this is a hundred channel wireless microphone system so if at some point your signal starts to drop out or whatever get funny you can always change and try and find a cleaner channel that you can work with all right everyone so there we have it that is a look at the zhuxing XS9 wireless microphone system. This is a UHF wireless microphone system. It has a hundred channels that you can use. It, I think it's so far from what I can see. It seems to be really nice. Now the, plas the, the, the casing is a really plasticky construction, but there are some nice features on here like the, uh, like the locking uh, cable connections. You have uh, levels on AB so that you can actually uh, tell that you're getting a signal through. You have a low cut filter on the uh, on the transmitter. On the receiver, it has a mix. It says mix uh, and, and ST, I guess it is. And basically from what I've seen, it, it, it mixes it so that you have two channels. I, I guess I believe it's like a dual auto or a single channel. So it does give you some nice options in that way. So yeah, I mean, it's up to you to decide if you like the way this sounds or the way the signal works. Now, if you don't like the way this sounds, you can always switch the mic out. That is one nice thing about using a uh, wireless lavalier system like this. You can just simply get a different lavalier microphone and use a different lavalier and you will get a different sound profile that's coming into your camera. So same thing if you use it with a boom mic or something else, you can just simply swap out the microphone and you'll get a different sound altogether. So yeah, anyways, I'm gonna leave a link to this product down below in the video description so that you can check it out. I'm also gonna leave a link to my Amazon page and all my social media contacts so that you can uh, see other products I've reviewed over time and you can reach out to me elsewhere. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Facebook. And I am Larry with todayifeellike.com. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.